And we have a one second startup on this recording. Perfect. Hey, we just got inside the forest temple. I may need to brighten the candle. These swings are a bit unresponsive. Hey, that's the monkey that stole your lantern. Doesn't look like she's beckoning you. Aren't you the popular one? Of course, there's a faster way to climb. I think speed leaves a lot to be desired. Blastable wall is going to need bombs. Assuming I'm getting those here. Oh. Radinox said, How is the Zelda in this evening? Not bad. I think I just figured out the solution to that one puzzle, so uh, we're going to put this out. Can I put the fire out? Leave and come back as it go out. No. How do I get that back down? Thank you. 
Alright, so I'll come back later. What ugly monkey? Oh, what's going on? There's been a monkey fight. Oh, no, now we can't go any further. Might as well go back. I don't know what's going on, but you see, it seems like she wants to take you somewhere, so maybe you should just follow her. So Red Knox, I, so, yeah, I hope you've been having a fairly okay week at least so far. The hell is that? Out at last. Oh god, you're ugly. Gracious. One Sorry, so I, I didn't out. catch that. Uh, I was asking how your week has been, Rat Knox, and damn, that's an ugly chicken. Big help, thanks. I've been looking for something in here, you see. Gracious, yes. You must need something here, too. We tried working together for a while, fellow adventurer. You may not think I look like much, but I can be quite helpful. I can even warp you out of here if you want to leave. Don't think of me as a burden. Now let's get started. Hot and cold running family drama. But I'm managing. Don't you love family drama? I know everyone does. had something there on the map. It was just a small amount of things.
What an incredibly pointless puzzle. I still can't believe this uses tank controls. A Wii game using tank controls. They were experimenting. A Wii game using tank controls. If anything, shouldn't pointing the Wiimote turn the screen? Instead, we have tank controls and no camera controls. They weren't always successful. It has worse controls than Super Mario 64. You're an idiot, monkey. Tanky can said, can't stay long, it's about to rain here in SoCal and I need to be outside to enjoy it. BRO Terry stunned I am so happy. Radinox said, the GameCube and Wii U versions have traditional controls. Look, I emulated the Wii version to get full Wii controls. I'm using the Wii controls. Well, Tanky can said, you'll use any good mind map software. What do you mean by mind map software? I'm interested building a mind map. If you don't know what it is, don't worry about it. I am going to worry about it. WTF link spot.
A mind map is basically a graph comprised of points that represent things and edges that represent relationships. Oh fuck it's raining got to go long. can't jump past it even though you can make the jump as dumb. Oh, I can go that way with two monkeys. Okay, I went. To, I went here early. I cannot go here. I got turned around by the monkeys. Yeah. 
Oh, I have a long time on that. Fucking game. When to pick up and throw it? Nope. Well, that works. Hey, why the hell are you here? You can't jump up there anyway, shit. What is the third monkey? Was both plans together? the head sprouts back out after it blows up. Oh no, that's just it.
but I need another monkey. I'm still short a monkey. It's gotta be in there. I know you have to show me music like that every time. Goddamn god damn tank controls. Not how that was supposed to be done. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Where the hell is the key? Come on, little monkey man.
The fairy of winds who resides in this boomerang. You have freed me from evil, and I now have my true power back. Please, take it with you. Use it to aid your quest, and may both my power and my blessing go with you. Focus power in your boomerang before releasing it. It will unleash the power of wind, aiding you in the unforeseen way. You should be satisfied now. Okay, let's continue coming this place. Already found something good, so let's keep searching places we haven't looked yet. So we have to go left because the monkeys are bailing on you now. Okay, so there's some monkey, so I just at this point you should try to try to save them all so you can get forward. Make roll the same button to put the fucking boom right away. Thank <laughs> you. 
you. Fuck you, game. Can you please stop, like, not counting the boomerang after it hits anything before my target? So, Fish, I am playing this using Wii controls, actually. Radinox said, Tip, play either the GameCube or WIIU versions. Why? The Wii version is great! They're also probably just easier to play. Love those tank controls, yet. Yeah. Hold on, so the Wii version isn't, sorry. So what you're saying is the GameCube version isn't tank controls. Only the Wii version is tank controls. So, Fish, I'm playing Twilight Princess on the Wii, and it's got tank controls. Yeah, this is fucking tank controls. Probably. Why the hell does the Wii game have tank controls? You have a freaking pointer. There's no, there's no excuse for that. I'm being stupid. Of course there is. I don't know. Like, so far the game's not bad, but I don't know why people critically acclaim Legend of Zelda games. I hope this game really wows me later. Well, that certainly wasn't worth coming back for.
But I don't have a Wii U. Zelda games as a whole are overrated. say that about a lot of game series though. Like Mario's got a lot of great titles, but a lot of the games are overrated. I agree. Wait, there what do you mean by Wind Waker's games in the good franchise, until late game? But I think none are 10 out of 10 games. Of course I missed this. Spot. You can't lurk. You're always here. You don't get a choice. Well, we can do that, though. There is zero issue with getting that to work. Unless you mean linking your 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 Wii U to your GBA, then I'm not sure how that works. Is that not it? That was a GameCube feature. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. We can do that on Game. We can do that on GameCube. Feature, scam, same thing. Why is it a scam? hitting him. Is there a fifth one I'm missing? Oh, the amiibos are a scam, 100%. Oh, oh I was stupid. Gen 1 did that. You needed to go to an event to get Mew. Or Cerulean City. Cerulean City also works. Original red slash blue you could only get new from an event. Or glitch. But 
But yes. There's gotta be some trick to this that I'm missing. I don't get enough locks. Fucking stupid. Did I hit all of them? Okay, it will. You could glitch Mew and maybe hack it with a game shark, but legit Mew were event only. Probably, yes. Wait, was I actually able to break this? puzzle though. There's gonna be something stupid. Oh, I'm fucking stupid. The best part is I tried this backwards, but not this way. It's so fucking obvious. I was overthinking it. This is a kid's game. Tried bot W. Not a fan. I mean, most open world games are shit, that's why. It just copy pasta garbage that they that they cheer as tons of content, but it's not tons of content. It's just the same content over and over again. That's like saying that World of Warcraft is 80 times bigger because you have to do every single raid 80 times to get the gear you want. I don't know what that means, fish.
To which I say, if they're padding the content behind hours of slog then I'm not playing their game. I mean, that's how I feel about every single open world game, Rat Knox. Oh my god, this climb speed. Could they have made it any worse? Not every open world game I've played has been bad, but the good ones are rare. It's not worth it based on how many there actually are. It just, it just at that point, it's better to just play none of them. Like, I have played maybe, I have played, I think, two good open world games, and one of them was Crackdown 2, just because of how stupidly silly it was at the end. You could just magnet mine helicopters to a giant steel girder and just run around and smack shit with it. Exactly the point, fish. Just duplicating everything eight Horizon. times is Zero not Zero Dawn is good. Near Automata is good. I would say I got bored of Zero Dawn very quickly. Zero Dawn, I, I would honestly say, is one of the worst open worlds. Because it also forces you to freaking gather shit to actually even fight. Like, all, all of your ranged is freaking consumables you have to gather by killing other random bullshit to keep going, which heavily pads the game time. Automata is open world. Couldn't say about the others in the series. I'm not sure if I would really necessarily call it open world. I guess, yeah, kind of. But here's why I'm not sure I would call it open world. Because Dark, because they, because they said that the other Dark Souls weren't open world. Because they described Elden Ring as being, as being the first open world Souls game. And Automata is not, it's still more just hallways. Meaning it's kind of not open world. Honestly, I feel that like open world has to be like basically a large open sandbox. Yes. I say that if it's not like a wide open sandbox, it's not open world. Exactly that. Near like, Automata. It's wide open with some dungeons. 
I don't know. I would the the bit that I played was not very open. It was just a slightly less cramped city of hallways, and then mostly the dungeons from what I got to. Maybe it, maybe I didn't get to where it opened up, but the game was so shit I couldn't keep playing it. And like, and trust me, I tried to like it. I couldn't. That's fair. Not every game is for everyone. Well, no, fish, fish. There is a specific difference in between sandbox and open world. A sandbox game is when they give you a giant open world and just say, hey, frickin' have fun. And there's very little main story, but a lot of extra shit to just go fuck around. The sandbox is basically like it's just a giant toy box to play in where the main campaign isn't the point of the game. Yes, but that's the thing. GTA's main thing isn't the story, it's not the game. It's, here's a city, go fuck around in the city. Just like Crackdown. It's really just, here's a giant city, go fuck around in the city. You can magnet mine helicopters to a giant steel girder and swing them and shit. Who cares about the plot? The plot doesn't care about the plot. Yeah, because it is sandbox. A really good example. Elden Ring is open world, but it's not sandbox. But GTA is a sandbox. Anyone who says GTA isn't a sandbox is lying to themselves. The problem though also is I don't th does Steam even have a sandbox tag? Honestly, it's like Souls-like. The term is getting so overused, people don't know what it means anymore. Steam does have a sandbox tag. They don't they don't have an excuse then. Kerbal Space Program is a sandbox game. Here is a bunch of rocket parts. Have fun. Try not to explode. Much. Yeah, exactly though. That's 
that's what though I was saying for just a sandbox. Here's 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 a bunch of shit. Go fool around and have fun. It's not is the game isn't necessarily about actually making it to space. The game isn't about even accomplishing anything. It's just fuck around and have fun. It's a sandbox game. Honestly, basically the, the definition of a of a sandbox game is any game that just says here, fuck around and have fun. Which is GTA. That is the entire premise of GTA. Yes, Wu Tang Monkey. We actually saved a bunch Wu-Tang of Wu Tang said Monk. Dang, you're just in time for the boss. Unnecessarily sharp lock.
Yes, fish, but this isn't the kind of game that needs... The problem is, so, I'm not complaining about the tank controls. It's that I'm specifically controlling shit by aiming at the screen. Which is perfect to look up and down by aiming off the screen. But instead, it doesn't do that. Instead, there just isn't camera controls. There's just no camera controls. Like, tank control games, most of them also give you camera controls. But, look, I have Navi to aim. I can, I can point at the screen. I aim boomerangs and slingshots. If I go off the edge, it doesn't turn. I need to use the tank controls to turn. Why? Just have full motion and use this to turn. You already do that in Metroid Prime 3 and the entire Metroid trilogy. You have games that do that. Why wouldn't you do that? Also, the GameCube game does that. You have a GameCube version that has the camera on the C-Stick and you walk around normally. They already have that in one version. You're just replacing the C-Stick with aiming at the screen, but no. Yeah, but Goldeneye auto aims up and down. Oh, I Kitty. prefer dank oh, controls myself. Kitty just became goo. Oh, aren't you adorable little man? I love when you randomly decide to be goo. Did I get the camera down enough? Eat him. Eat him. Yeah, I really can't. The cat's black anyway. It's gonna not work. Don't you all love when cats just melt into you? you Would well, you be fine if I hold you and pet you instead? This way everyone can see you. Uh, I'm using the NVIDIA Chroma effect. It's just, if you set it upright, it works very well. You do not need a, need a green screen. The, the NVIDIA broadcast works great. So, so here, so, yeah, so here's the thing, Fish. You do have to tweak it a bit, but it works great. Like, people who say it doesn't work well, I will admit, when I have a lot of facial hair, my face looks like shit. But I also don't grow a beard. I'm just very patchy, so it clearly doesn't know what to do. If you have proper facial hair, it works. Incidentally, his entire room is the same color green, so it helps. My room isn't green, Wu-Tang. Well, yes, again, Fish, because you probably have a, have a proper beard. I'm just very, very patchy, and it doesn't get long or thick. So I get random places where it's kind of black and thick, and then other parts where it's 80% skin. Oh, you're lasting especially long today when you're booby. You normally only want like a minute or two of pets, but you're just still going. You're just lying there. Clearly you want your ear again. So, I love how obvious this boss was, but I guess this is also really the first like true boss in this game. Like four hours in. You know, if you were like five minutes later, the boss would have been done and I would have probably ended the stream because we got the, dun the entire dungeon done. 
But now you're just delaying us. You know what? Let me see if I can get it done while still holding the cat. I'm assuming that can't just be it. That would be dumb. Oh, it's got an eyeball! In the mouth! How highly impractical. the small one. I mean, because they stop hitting you. God, cats are trying to do this boss little Kevin why do you always choose at like this point in the stream Boys got stuck in the wall. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hold on. That's what I was looking for. That's a fused shadow. What the light spirits called dark power. Remember what the spirit said about how you had to match the power of the king of shadows? Could it be really so? Could it really be so easy? Is this all there is to it? A total of three fused shadows. Then the other light spirits have the rest. Want to know exactly what fused shadows are? Well, maybe I'll tell you if you find the other two. Guess you do better. To, guess you better do your best to find them, huh? Let's not waste any more time here. We'll be looking for the other two. Get you out of here. Pick up the hard container that fell off that thing. Want to outside? Yeah, let's go. Honestly, Regdrin, it's that I'm kind of playing with a cat getting in the way. I have a kitten on me that's just climbing in my shirt. It wasn't that hard. Right, anywho, since that's done, I'm gonna wrap up stream now because the cat's not letting me play more. 